Welcome back to Gear for the Common Game. Today we're going to talk about deck number 333. Mr. Mogus, again. If y'all remember, way back deck number 43 was Mogus Tribal Minotaurs. And I went through that entire deck, and then when they actually finally printed us a legendary Minotaur that was black and red, I can't remember his name, I just made a clean swap. I, I didn't make any changes to the to Minotaur deck. And so that left Mogus as a commander without a deck. So I, I just threw Mogus into a deck box, and as I have built all these other decks, I've just been throwing cards in there, and I, I don't know why I went the way I did. Mainly, it's an idea that I haven't done. I don't know that I like it, but if you just want to be that guy, this is your deck. Now, Mogus is 7-5 for 4, indestructible, and of course he's... We're pro I don't know that we're going to be able to turn on him into a creature with devotion. I guess the last line is what led me down the... <laughs> the dark, dark path that I went down. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, Mogus shocks them unless they sack a dude. So they're always just going to take the two unless it's life-threatening, you know. Uh, two life or a creature, people will just about, unless they have disposable tokens, that's fine. Or that, you know, something they want to die, like a uh, veteran or a rector or something like that. But anyway, when I read that, what occurred to me was, well, he don't like creatures. As a matter of fact, you could say he hates creatures. He's red and black. Let's rack those colors. It's all about the hate, people. I'm serious. Back today, we have things that are like color annoyers or color hinderers. Back in the day when Magic was first printed up through several years, they had color hate. And this deck is all about the dark side of the force and letting the hate flow through you. I'm telling you. So let's get to it. Let's look at the things that Red Black or that Mogus hates. We're going to hate. Let's hate artifacts first. By the way, hate is not good in a, in a worldly sense. I don't know if this deck can win, and it's probably fitting that it doesn't win, but you know what? If you just want to sit down there at the end of the table and be the asshole, this is probably the deck for you. But anyway, the Mox Monkey here, been chewing up Moxes since 96 or 5 or whatever, Alliances. He hates artifacts. You know who else ha hates artifacts? Joven. Joven's an artifact-hating dude from Homeland, so... That's what's up. We got Artifact Blast, which everybody was like, oh my gosh, it's it's the first red counter spell. You know what? It doesn't really matter. Yes, it does counter it, so it technically doesn't hit play, but there's not a whole lot of difference in countering the Artifact spell, waiting for it to get to the board, and just destroying it. Uh, yeah. We got Pulverize, because, you know, if you just want to shatter storm and not pay for it, you can sack two mountains to destroy all artifacts. Or, you know, if, if you've got the four, you just cast a shatter storm because we hate artifacts, right? We ain't got no artifacts. So we have no ramp in this deck. I told you it was bad, right? We got artifact possession. Take a second to read this one because, yeah, two damage each time it, it's tapped or its activation cost has been played. Now, obviously, you don't want to play this on the top. Yeah, it's repeatable, but, you know, like a, a something they're going to use a lot. What's up, dog? It'd be awesome. You know, soul ring is on a soul ring. Anyway, we got a haunting wind, which is a little broader. It's every artifact. So that's us hating artifacts. Now let's hate lands. Specifically, you know, non-basic lands. We got the Dwarven Miner. He's just going to dig up a, a, a non-basic land a turn. We got Desolation, which, you know, it also hits you, but that's just the price of being, you know, hate. It that That's the price. Sometimes you just shoot yourself in the foot. 
actually, most of the time. But anyway, at the end of each turn, you tap mana, you sack a land. Hope it ain't a plains. And then, uh, of course, we got good old-fashioned ruination. Because, you, you know, which, by the way, I feel like that this should have been named Back to Basics. But, anyway. So what are we hating now? Hey, let's hate creatures. We're going to hate creatures because, you know, Chain Reaction and Crux of Fate. Crux of Fate allows you to either hate dragons or hate all non Oh, non dragon, so that's kind of cool. Hex, ashes to ashes, you hate out to now. For the record, uh, I know this is a, a current topic. I like this card. It is three mana and it exiles two creatures. Exiles, yeah, sorcery speed, whatevs. Does five, don't care. You're gonna take probably more than five damage from those two creatures. So we got Deathbringer Regent there again, allows us to hate on creatures. And, you know, it's kind of a dragon, so it kind of works well with our Crux. Dry Spell, let's hate out them one ones. Same thing with Engineered Plague. Goblins, Elves, Thopters, you know, cool shenanigans. And Zarin Ruins. You're just going to choose a type not to ever untap. That's low. And then, of course, we have the Tainted Aether. Um... Hope you ain't got no, you know, infinite creature shenanigan going on because you ain't going to have no lands or no nothing. Uh, what else can we hit? Hey, let's hate some colors. Hey, let's hate blue uh, in the form of Pyroblast and Burnout, but more importantly, Magnetic Mountain. We're going to, you know, blue creatures ain't going to untap. You know, you can spend four for that. Gosh, that, that's harsh. Hey, let's hate some green. Death Grip. Man, this is just a beating on a stick, man. Two black mana counter a green spell? That's a little too efficient. Bereavement. Green creature put in a graveyard, you discard a card. I'm telling you. The, the hate was real back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Every time they cast a spell, you can spend the two. And, oh, man. Curvax Hex. Curvax Glare is what more like it. Uh, there we go. You know, hates on the non black, really hates on the green. But you know, you know what Mogus hates the most? White. Oh my gosh. You know, Gloom. This is just a, a, a terrible card. There's, I hate that this card exists because it is cruelly efficient uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I have just turned one swamp dark ritual gloom and they're like well I'm done it's going to cost me four mana for my sword now yeah it's pretty nuts of course we got is in shade now I, I love this art I wish they'd have brought this art back for the, uh, that master set because I would have loved this specific art foiled you can't tell me that would have been gorgeous. That glow behind him. Oh, man, it would have been great. Wildfire Emissary. He uh, he don't like red either. Uh, neither does uh, the Blood Knight. Order of the Eben Hand. Knight of Strong Gold. Uh, you know. Inquisition. Inquisition is... I don't know if it's really busted or not, but... You know. You get to see their hand only you, and then they take damage for white cards, so I guess everybody's able to know how many white cards they've got. We got Soul Rend, you know, which is a Doom Blade just for white, but you do get the cantrip effect off of it. I, I guess that's neat. We got Cinder Cloud. I'm trying to get that glare. There again, part of the stage I'm building we will have a, a a glare re reducer. You know. Hating on the white. Stench of evil. Still hating on the white. Destroying all planes. Deals one damage to each player for each plane that they control. It's destroyed in this way. You can pay two mana for each one damage. You can't pay nothing for... I mean, you're, the planes are getting destroyed. And 
Stench of Evil is not the only one in there. We got good old fashioned flash fires to blow up all them to hate out the planes. And then, just in case you, you know, do have white permanents left, we're gonna hate out them too. Jeez. So now, let's uh the rest of this just falls under like multiples. Hey, we're gonna hate all non enchantment creatures. Zanch is just gonna let us hate a random player at a time. We don't really have a way to to uh, maximize her, except for the best mana engine ever. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Once I got that 41 mana that game off of this and just shot it all through Zantia, it was ridiculous. Anyway, yeah. So I cast this and got 41 mana. I'm telling you, this is a uh, one of those classes of cards that the more opponent, the bigger the game you have, the better it is. Hey, look, we have Soldier of Fortune. Ha-ha, uh ha-ha, -huh. uh -huh. take that, Amina Tower, all you top-decking, you, you, you know, miracle decks. <laughs> Shuffle. Shuffle. Curse of Merit Lage. Hey, look, we don't like, we're going to hate out islands. Oh, this is just blue. This should have been in the blue category, shouldn't it? What about Magister's Vote? We don't like white creatures or black creatures. That's that's some true hate. Kind of like the omen of fire there. You, you don't like the white or the blue. Yixla Jailer. We're going to hate out graveyards now. Why not? Hey, let's hate out a chosen number. I hate things of this chosen number. Because, you know, number's bad. Uh, what do we hate? Hey, hey, let's hate some flyers. We don't like flyers. Or, or let's just hate. Let's just hate rage all the time. Because, ah, uh, here we I'm rising up too much. Okay, Avatar of Slaughter. I realize he's not exactly in English there. But Avatar of Slaughter. Uh, all creatures have double strike and must attack. Eight mana, eight, eight. Man, let's just hate the game. Don't hate to play it. Uh, I... Irene Singier. We're going to hate enchantments. By the way, this is probably a good time to hate enchantments. Just saying. Of course, Death Marked. We're going to hate out some green or white creatures. Pillage. Pillage is going to let us hate out some artifacts or lands. Evaporate. Emissary of Grudges allows you to specifically target hate a player. I guess this is where you would hate the player and not the game. Although that player probably hates both. Curse of Wizardry uh, hates the most common played color. Probably. That's not red or black. Um, Fire Covenant. X is equal to the life you pay. You know, this is specifically one of those cards that... Brian here is not responsible enough to play. I played this since Ice Age, and I can't tell you how many times I have way paid too much life, and I've been like, because um, it's any number of creatures, I'm going to be like, I'm going to kill your whole team. They're like, dude, you're paying 17 a lot. I don't care. And then there's a bolt out of the sky. And of course, you know, we all make those new player mistakes. I, I still make new player mistakes because I'm new, right? Yeah. Um, Fumarole. I kind of like, you know, destroy our creature and land. Although the way we've read this back then is we were really hoping that, uh, that you could like, while you were playing this, you could pay like a whole bunch of life, like non life to do it three times. But you know, it's not the way. Dang it. Our last card uh, for there again, no particular reason. Dystopia. Uh, one life cumulative upkeep. If they got any green or white permanents, they sack a green or white permanent. So, yeah, that is. I realize this is probably not the uh, the most Mogus of, of decks, but I probably wasn't going to use Mogus like Mogus anyway. And I've already done the Minotaur theme, so just you know, throwing all the hate cards in one deck because there are times. There are times when you play games and you just get hated out, and you're like, you know what? 
think I'm just going to carry this one just in case. But anyway, that's what I've got. It's uh, I think this may carry it, uh, the title of the worst deck I've done. We're, you know, deck number 333 probably takes the cake. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching. Y'all let me know what you think. But right now, I think, I think we're going to shuffle and cut and stop the hate.